Hey there, Steve Rubis with another installment of Investor Relations in Two Minutes or Less. Today we're going to talk about personal experience of, of short attacks via Chinese internet stocks. And back in the 2010, 11, 12 timeframe, I was an associate helping to cover Chinese internet stocks. This was the height of Chinese reverse takeout fraud. And typically you would get Citron Research or Muddy Waters to lob a short attack. And in the case of Muddy Waters, they had a 100% success rate on Chinese uh, short attacks. Now, at the same time, we were on one of the highest profile Chinese internet IPOs. Shortly after the IPO, Citron put out a short attack on the company that seemed pretty coherent and, and pretty legit. And honestly, I thought my career was over. I thought I had done an IPO for a fraudulent company. Luckily, I, and I'll get into this shortly, there were a few details that, that proved the company was not a fraud. And ultimately, it went on to be one of the best publicly traded Chinese internet companies around. And so there's two things um, in particular with the company that are worth focusing on if you're an executive or someone in IR. And there's two things for the industry. So the two things specific to the company. One is that we did an NDR with them almost immediately after the short attack. And what was clear is sitting in those investor meetings with the CFO, he was not flustered. He was not frazzled. And his explanations made it clear this stock was not a fraud. The short attack didn't make sense. And the second piece here is what I call the, the sort of Chinese internet playbook, where Chinese internet companies would go on multiple NDRs every quarter after quarterly earnings. And they would do this for, for multiple cycles in order to build a very strong base to kind of stop these short attacks and negative talks about their company. And there were two things also in particular uh, around the Chinese internet industry that I think protected it from having frauds unlike the reverse takeout companies in China. And the first was the idea of competitors. I've talked a lot about competitors over several of my videos. And in particular, in the case of Chinese internet, you had a very robust competitive set where investors could interact with multiple companies and bounce ideas off of multiple people. And it made it very difficult for a company to either lie or perpetrate um, something nefarious or something that was not on the up and up. And then the, the last piece was in Chinese internet, there were third party data sets. When you have third party data sets that you can use to verify the business performance of a company, it makes it a lot harder to build a short attack around that company. So if you're a company facing a short attack, remember a few things. One, do an NDR to, to help allay investor concerns. Two, if, um, if it continues, consider doing more NDRs or doing more investor outreach. I think more is better in this case. And then lastly, remember, go back to your competitor set. Make sure you have a robust competitive set. And lastly, if you can highlight third-party data sets to validate your narrative and your thesis, that's going to go a long way in helping quell the short attack. Remember, when it comes to investor relations, I lived it so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.